Now to understand really uh, what what vector design is all about and then how powerful it is, you really have to understand the concept of nodes. And nodes are basically these little squares that connect the lines that make up every single vector image. So kind of like in Photoshop, how uh, pixels are the most important thing and everything's made up of pixels, in vector design, everything's made up of nodes. Now nodes, when you look at them in an image, they're actually gonna appear quite small. So this is just an exaggerated version, but Imagine that uh, you've got two nodes. Now, nodes have to be connected by a line. So in this case, it is a straight line. And that's actually the, the name given to this type of connection. So when you talk about connections, a node can be connected by a straight line connection. And obviously, if you were gonna make something like a stop sign and this is going to be a very bad stop sign but you know and I make an octagon like this this is made up of one two three four five six seven eight nodes and then each node is connected by a straight line connection okay even though that is a absolutely terrible um, stop sign okay now the opposite of a straight connection is actually a curved connection. So you can actually control uh, the shape that you're getting from these lines by assigning it a curve. Now, technically, this is three nodes, so it's actually not just one curve that's connecting it, it is two curves. So there's a curve right there and a curve right there. And if I had three uh, nodes and they were connected by straights, it would look much more obviously straight without that curve. So that's the first part. It's either straight or it is curved. Now with a straight connection, really there's only so much you can do. It is a straight line, always. With a curve, you have a few options. So I'm just gonna, this is one example right here, but I'm just gonna show you down here. Um, you may have three nodes that need to be connected and you can actually connect them in this way here. And this is called a cusp connection because they actually go at, they come in on one angle and they leave on another. Okay, so it's a sharp, um, a sharp connection. So this is a cusp. Now, this would be kind of the cusp of an M or like the McDonald's logo. Over here, you can also have cusps. And in this case, the cusps are going in different directions. Okay, so one cusp comes up and then it comes out on a different angle. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go, uh, go back to that original one that I showed you and we're gonna see how it actually is a little different. In this case, the, the line that's connecting through this is not changing direction. Instead, it actually smoothly goes through it. So in this case, we actually call it a smooth connection. And if you remember all of these, you should, you should really be able to grasp what's going on here. So really, there are two types of connectors between nodes. Those are straight or curve. Then, if it's a curve, it can have a few different characteristics. It can be a cusp, so it comes to a point. It can be a cusp, so it comes in at one direction and comes out at a totally other one. Or it can be smooth, and the smooth would be kind of like a circle. Now I want to show you some actual examples here. Here is some uh, two very basic shapes. So this one here kind of looks like a, a simple house. When I click on it, you can see that it's a curve. So what I'm going to do is we talked about earlier, I'm just going to convert that to curves. And oh, sorry, my bad, it already has a curve. Um, when I uh, look here, I can see nodes here. There's one node there, two, three, four, five. Now I can identify these as a straight connection there and there's a straight connection there and there's a straight connection there by the way i'm hitting Control d to duplicate these it's just a really quick shortcut which you may use a lot so these are just straight line connectors that are connecting these nodes here and i'm just going to use this kind of uh penta pentagram here to show where the nodes would be and there we go. So this is a five node object that has all straight connections. And because they're all straight connections, there is no uh, variation of the way that it comes through. By default, a straight connection has to have a cusp that comes in and out of it. 
Now, when we look at a heart, it's a little different. I'm gonna identify where the nodes are. I mean, I could even click on it and just show you. Um, you can see there's one right there, there's one right there, there's one right there, and then there's one right there. But let me put these little markers just to make it really, really clear. So we got one right there, one right there, and one down there. Now, there are no straight connections on this at all. So we would identify this as, that's a curved connection. And then there's another curved connection there. And there's another curved connection there. And there's another curved connection there. So because these are curves, we can actually look at what type of, uh, of what type of connection they have at each node. Well, this one here, you can see it smoothly goes through. So this would be identified as smooth. And obviously this is uh, symmetrical. So it makes sense that it, uh, the other one would be smooth. Now, if we look at the other ones, that is not a smooth connection. You have a line coming in on one angle and going out on another. So that must be a cusp. And going back up to the top there, you can see the same thing. It is coming in on one angle, out on the other. It must be a cusp. So you're never gonna have to outline or like lay these out. I'm never gonna give you a quiz that says identify if this is a uh, cusp curve, a smooth curve, a straight. It, that, that's not gonna happen, but it is important you understand how it actually works. Now, one other thing I wanna show you here. When you click on this tool right here, which we're gonna be using a lot, it's called the shape tool. The shape tool allows you to get right in on those nodes and alter things. So this is where vectors really differ from bitmaps. I can click on this node right there. And when I select it, and you can even see that this is, this is a curve that has four nodes, it has these handles that come out. And these handles will actually change the shape. Okay, so if I bring the handle down, it flattens it. If I bring it up, it kind of brings it to a big peak. If I bring it back, it follows. So you can essentially get any shape you want just by modifying these handles. Now these handles work on smooth as well, except with the difference is when they're smooth, they actually move together. So just like I told you with a cusp, it comes in one angle, goes out another. These are independent, these handles, right? So you can grab one and the other one doesn't move. Whereas when you're dealing with a smooth handle, when you move it one way, the other one moves the opposite way. Okay, so that's, uh, hopefully you kind of can wrap your head around that. Um, the last thing that I'll just show you here before we go into the next lesson, which is how to actually use this practically, when you click on a node, you can actually right click it and change it. Right now we know this is a cusp because it's blanked out. And we, uh, we know it's a curve because that's blanked out. So I can actually change this to smooth and it completely changes it because now I've got that smooth handle. Whereas, you know what, maybe I wanna go back to a cusp and now I can move those independently. Much like I could actually click on this line that is connecting this node and this node and I could right click it and I could change it to a line and now I'm getting line connections. Using these combinations of nodes, the connecting lines, which are straight or curve, and then the actual uh, kind of the, the flowing connection between them, which can be a cusp or a smooth, combining that with these handles, you can actually do virtually any type of shape or anything you're trying to do in CorelDRAW. Now this is just the basics, and if you're feeling confused, don't worry because the next step is actually doing this for real, and that's where it's gonna make a lot of sense.